Hey everyone, and welcome to the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. And this is the place where you can develop your ninja skills with all of your favourite creative cloud, desktop and mobile design apps. In this movie, we're going to look at answering a question from the channel about how to replace a colour with a specific hex or HSL value. And that follows on from Shuriken skills at number 47, in which we used on image editing to modify colors by dragging. So we've got this photo of a model. My name's Alicia. Uh, cool. Hi. Uh, so we need to change the color of the dress you're wearing. Uh, what color is it? The current color of this dress is 02ACCD, sweetie. Okay, and what color would you like it to be? I'd like the color of the dress to be FF0077. What, just a solid color like this? No, that would just be silly. <laughs> I thought so. So you'd like to keep the tonality of the original just a different color, something like this, only probably just a bit better. That's perfect, honey. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is, first of all, in this file here, I've got this Adobe stock image, and what I'm going to do is select all and copy, and then paste, or of course I could have used Command J, but it would have duplicated the actual smart object. And the reason I've done this is because we can't do this on a smart object, we need to do it on a layer, or at least to start with. And this begins with the image menu and adjustments and the replace color dialog like so. Now I'm actually not going to try and do a perfect job of this here because I only want to use part of the dialog. So I need the kind of strongest uh, part of the color here. So I'm thinking that that's around about this sort of region here perhaps. So if I click, Okay, I start to build a mask. Now I'm going to add to that color. Okay, so I'm just going to click in a few other places and then I'm just going to move the hue slider anywhere just at the moment, just to see what I'm picking up. So I'm just adding to that mask in a few places. And once I've got it near enough, then I'm going to tune that with the fuzziness slider Okay, to get that. Now, if you wanted to, you could simply click here, okay, on the color picker for that. And this is where you could paste or type your hex value. So if I type FF0077, like so, and hit OK, all right, then that may do for you. It wouldn't do for me. I think the tonality is all a little bit wrong. But what I do want to do is write down these numbers. So 137, 24, and 19. I can then pretty much get rid of that dialog and indeed delete that layer. So let's go back to the adjustments and I want a hue saturation adjustment here. Okay, and enable on image editing. And then just come over, hold down the command key, that would be control on Windows, and click on the color of the dress like so. And that brackets our changes, okay, to the color wheel. You can see it kind of in the middle of that sort of cyan-like color out to the very edges of blue and going back the other way out to the very edges of sort of teal green. So now I'm just going to change the numbers here. So I'm going to dial in the hue number, of course, which is 137. So if I type 137, just there so that's in the right range and if I tab through to the saturation which was 24 okay and then tab through to the lightness which was 19 okay and if I just tab away from that you can see that's done a pretty good job I could also add a bit more color it's not completely happening for me uh, down here so I can just click in this region as well to add that but I think that's just fine as it is. So there we are, we're done. I'm just wondering, Alicia, now you've got the color that you wanted, do you have any advice for people new to the Design Ninja channel? Subscribe today and hit the bell for notifications. Wise words, and there you have it. We're done for now, so please do spread the word, keep on watching, 
And until next time, see ya.